With Atlas, ChatGPT can come with you anywhere across the web. ChatGPT just released their new web browser, and this could just be a remarkable game changer. You can instantly get prompt generators based off of any just single prompt. But today, we're gonna go over some of the most powerful things and impressive things that you can do. But I'm also today gonna give you a cheat code, and this will actually be a huge game changer for you. Because I'm gonna show you with using Atlas how you can instantly 10x and improve any prompt that you see. But before we get into that, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Please do. Okay, so here we are, ChatGPT Atlas. It's gonna operate in a multitude of ways. You're gonna have AI agents, which this is happening on this page right here. You could see that we're on VRBO and you could ask ChatGPT any question relevant to the page that you're on. And then instantly you could see that you could have a live chat with ChatGPT because it's all connected. Okay, now we're simply looking for shoes and even airline tickets. Is there a mother's room at my connection? So you could see between the chat, the AI assistant and Atlas, you basically have everything. You could see here that we could also make our emails more concise and actually even rewrite our sentences. But this is what really impresses me. If you were shopping some somewhere earlier today, you can based off of browser memories, ask the question, help me find those shoes or that outfit I was looking at. On this one on Instacart, we're going to allow the agent to actually fulfill our purchase. What you see right now is not the user, but it's the AI agent actually fulfilling the purchase, putting it in the shopping cart, and now actually checking out. Headed to the beach with the kids tomorrow. Can you grab the usual beach day stuff? And then it responds, the usual, got it. I'll grab the well-rated SPF 50 sunscreen, the snacks they love, and a few extra supplies so you can just show up and enjoy the day. You can completely allow the AI to do all that for you. On this page right here, which I'll actually show you in real time, we're looking at a shoe website. And once you open up the chat GPT sidebar, you could ask a question like they did right here. Would these shoes be good for a marathon? And then chat GPT will instantly provide you with its response. But the thing I really find that's gonna be incredibly helpful is that it will pick up where you left off. So look at this right here. It says, open the Halloween decorations I was looking at last week in some new tabs. I mean, that is pretty crazy so far. So let's continue to scroll down even more. Highlight text and emails, calendar invites or docs, and get help from chat all in one click. And then there it is. You highlight the text, make this sound more professional, so now if I'm an Atlas, what's the latest on the stock market news? If I hit send, instantly look at this. It opens up with AI taking our role and it's searching the web. Now at the very top, I'm on the home page. You can see I have these tabs, but instantly I'm gonna get the AI synopsis right here and it's gonna give me everything that's going on. So now if we come back over to this page right here, let's just look at a few other things that we can do. And then I'm gonna show you some amazing ways to improve and 10X any prompt. So when you first open up Atlas, this is what the new tab page will look like. Just a basic search or a prompt bar. And now you can see right here that instantly we're gonna get these personalized suggestions based on our prior history and that's exactly what shows over here on my atlas page right here so the cool thing is is that chat gpt can remember what you've explored and then suggest what you can do next whether it's returning to past pages digging deeper into a topic surfacing related ideas or automating routine tasks. Now, one of the key highlights is gonna be the agent process. So imagine you're planning a dinner party and you have a recipe. You can give the recipe to ChatGPT and ask it to find a store, add the ingredients to a cart and order them from your house. At work, you can ask ChatGPT to open and read through past team documents, perform new research, and compile insights. Okay, so now let's dive in, and now let me show you some very impressive things. Now, from earlier today, I was looking for some shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and ask this specific question in ChatGPT or Atlas to repopulate and help me remember what specific shoes I was looking for. But as you see, there's a plus button. Select this plus button, and now you have a lot of options available. Add photos, agent mode, browser memory. I can hit more, search canvas and study and and learn. I can even do some tab search, but check this out. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select browser memory with browser memory turned on. Watch this. 
I'm gonna say what shoes was I looking at earlier? Just like that. Now you can see it's saying searching browser memories. And now there it is. I checked your recent browsing history for Amazon. That's exactly where I was searching. You were looking at Adidas Ultra Boost running shoes, specifically these right here. Okay, so if I select this, let's see. That's, yeah, that's exactly what. That's the exact shoe I was looking at. If I type in something completely different, let's say this time I type in Nike running shoes, and let's specifically just click on any random one. How about this one right here? Okay, there it is. I'll even click on this blue one. Let's start the whole process over and just show you how this works in real time. So again, brand new chat opened up. Now again, hit that plus button and now say browser memory and now say what Nike shoes was I looking at earlier? There it is. You were looking at the Nike Zoom Pegasus on Amazon. Let's click that link. There it is. Those are the exact ones that we were just looking at. Now watch this. On the left-hand side, if I remove this, and now in the upper right-hand corner, if I click on Ask Chat GPT, it opens up this sidebar. This is Chat GPT. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I can say something like, can I find these anywhere cheaper? And now just like that, it populates everything that I need. Look at that. Now I can expand and change the size of my chat bar by just clicking and dragging. And now that way, there it is. It populates everything, it provides the links, and then it gives me a quick summary of each of these items. Okay, now let's take things up to the next level. Now let me show you how you can recreate and make any prompt you see online 10 times better. What I'm gonna do this time is, instead of asking a specific question, now I'm gonna go to my blog post, and once I'm on my blog page, each one of my blog posts will contain a ton of prompts. So let's select this first one right here, realistic AI image prompts, and I can just scroll down and specifically choose a prompt. So let's look at this one right here. This is called the immersive simulation. Now watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this prompt right here. Once it's highlighted, up in the top right hand corner, select Ask Chat GPT. Okay, now you can see down here below, it already knows I have text highlighted. I'm gonna say make the prompt highlighted 10x better. That's all I'm gonna do, just like that. Now hit send. Now while that's thinking, I do want you to know that we can also use this same method to create our very own prompt generator. But first, here we have it. There is that upgraded prompt 10x enhanced realism. Look at that, there it is. But look at the question we get down here below. This is the power of having chat GPT connected. Do you want me to convert this into a mid-journey Leonardo flux meta prompt with realism tokens and camera metadata? Okay, moving forward, this time we're gonna go back to my website again, blog post again. This time specifically, let's go to these Sora 2 prompts. Now what I'll do is, up at the very top, I have this box where anytime I click, there's a prompt that corresponds below it. Let's look at this Coca-Cola, or no, let's look at this Santa versus Tesla prompt right here, okay? Ready for a run, driver? Let's do it. Ho, ho, ho! Nothing is faster than Santa! Let's go ahead and highlight this one and now select Ask Chat GPT up in the top right. But now this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually select agent mode. Ask Chat GPT to perform a task. You can see it's over here and it's specifically selected. I can also hit this plus button and you can see I have agent mode selected, okay? Now let's say this. Create a reusable meta prompt generator, AKA a prompt that creates prompts based on any subject that I provide. Now what it's doing is it is going to thoroughly inspect the prompt that's highlighted. You can see that kind of cool glitter or those cool little pixels start to appear. And now based on the thinking, it's gonna go ahead and craft exactly what I was looking for. You can instantly get prompt generators based off of any just single prompt. And now look at that, here it is based on, and it only worked for 23 seconds, based on the highlighted example, there it is, reusable meta prompt generator right here. Incredible job. Let's go back to my blog and let's go ahead and open up this one that says Sora 2 prompts. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Ask Chat GPT again. I'm gonna say perform an SEO audit on this page. And now this time I'll make sure I have agent mode selected. 
okay? Let's see what the agent says I could do to improve my page when it comes to SEO. And now on the right-hand side, you can see it's gathering the metadata, it's doing everything it should do. Now check this out. While this is thinking, we're gonna go ahead and open up a brand new tab. And now that way we can have more than one tab open. The next thing to wrap this up is one more thing. Let's hit this plus button and let's select agent mode. And we're also going to select add photos. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a specific photo. Here it is right here. You can see I have agent mode on and also a photo. Now what I'll say is provide me with a prompt use to create this image. Okay, there it is. Let's do one more thing before we wrap this up. Let's open up a third tab because I want to show you how you can do the same exact thing on any website that you visit. So again, we'll go back to my website, Metrics Mule, and let's go to this right here. Let's open up Ask Chat GPT and say this. Simply, I'll say, create a prompt that can create the image on the screen. Okay, so I only have one image right here, and now there it is. Look, there it is. Ultra realistic cinematic real estate photo of a modern Hollywood Hills luxury mansion at golden hour. Look how cool this is. It's gonna go ahead and give me those specific meta tokens all right there, and it should reduplicate and remake a similar image just like that. Then it says I can create 10 variant prompts and even create a Sora 2 VO3 ready video prompt that brings this exact mansion scene to life. If I go back to my other one, now it says the same thing here. I uploaded this image, and now it provides me with the same exact prompt I could use to hopefully duplicate this image. Going back to my original page over here, where I asked it to do this SEO audit, here it is, worked for one minute, and now on the right-hand side, it gives me the full SEO audit breakdown, my URL structuring, and what I can specifically do to improve my SEO score. So there you have it, ChatGPT Atlas. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many other things you could do, but I just first wanted to give you an overview of some of the most impressive things that are going to be very helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you tried Atlas? And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel. Is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and